Hello, I'm Chris. Today I'd like to talk to you about slug control. One way to protect your plants from the recent explosion of the slug and snail population is to create a barrier between those plants and the snails. An easy way to do that is to use a pot like this. It has a rough surface which the slugs and snails don't like to crawl across so the plants inside are kept safe. With other pots which a more normal terracotta surface you could apply a barrier using a copper tape around the sides of the pot. Another way to provide a, bar a barrier against slugs and snails in the garden is to lay down a surface around the plants which the, the slugs and snails won't like to crawl across. This can be provided by using woolen pellets or by a granular pellet. To protect the plant you need to cut a thick layer all the way around that the slugs and snails won't like to crawl across. Make sure the plant is entirely surrounded by the pellets and the slugs and snails will crawl away and worry somebody else's plants. If you use woolen pellets they actually provide a, a nice mulching material which keeps the plants moist during drier weather. If you'd rather protect your plants by disposing of the slugs rather than just resisting them, you could apply slug pellets or use a slug trap. The slug trap is a simple device which you bury into the ground using a bait or an attractant such as beer. The slugs crawl into the, the trap and can, are unable to escape. And the more traditional way of disposing of slugs and snails is to use pellets. These can be inorganic or a more traditional form. Always be careful to apply the slug pellets as recommended by the manufacturers. This means that pets and children are kept safe in the garden whilst you're disposing of the slugs. I'll demonstrate how this is done. Spread the pellets evenly and clearly and well apart so that not, there are no huge clumps that pets would eat or be attractive to children. It's also a more effective way of disposing of the slugs as well ju just one pellet is enough to do the job. I hope that's been a useful demonstration and you have a slug free garden this summer. For more information fill in the information block at the bottom of the blog.